friends, and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal, and today I am super ridiculously excited to share with you guys the first flip through of one of my story albums. So this album I have finally completed, <laughs> finally, and um, this is an album where I house our family stories. So any story that is about our family in general. The reason I say that is because I also have a story album for my daughter that is a home to all stories that are specifically about Isabella. And I also have a story album for my son, which is a home for all stories specifically related to Jonah. Those are albums that will go with them through their years uh, and serve as like a home base for stories of their childhood and growing up experiences. But for everything else that is not specifically about them, those stories go into what I call our family story album or our stories. So this is volume one. Now, um, I am currently working on... I'm working on finishing up volume two, and I've already started volume three. And the reason why I have a couple of them going all at once is because I fill stories based on... How do I want to say this? I don't necessarily put stories in a chronological order. I don't necessarily work, you know, one story to the next. It's random and wherever they fit. So once I get an album all filled, um, this one, so like this one is filled, volume two is almost done, and volume three is in the beginning stages. So that's just kind of how it works for me. I don't, you know, I don't want to limit myself, and so therefore I just have multiple going at once. But volume one is officially completed. So what I have here, this is an Allie Edwards six by eight pleather album. It is the gray or grayish or something like that color. It's really pretty. It's just like a gray color, which works great because we have a lot of gray in my house. So it's awesome. For the beginning, I start all of my albums with a page that looks like this. So for our stories, I have our stories for um, Isabella I, or Izzy. I have Izzy and Jonah is Jonah. So it just helps to differentiate the albums and let me know what they are. And then I have a big sticker in the middle with the volume number the month that the album was started and the month that the album was completed. So all of the stories in this album are stories that I created. They're not necessarily when the story happened, but they are when I created the page describing the story. <laughs> um, and yeah, so they these ones are all from August of 2019 through May of 2020. So that is that is when these stories were told. So let's go ahead and get started flipping through. I'm gonna do my best to remember where everything came from, but there's a lot in here. So if if I miss anything and you guys have a question about it, let me know and I'd be happy to look it up and figure it out for you. So the first stories that I told in this album were about playing. This was the actual, this was actually the very first Allie Edwards story kit I ever got. Uh, so I have a lot of stories about play. The first time, the first one I told is about our love of playing board games. So this one is a lot more digital than physical, but I do have a couple of chipboard pieces on here from that kit. Uh, otherwise, it's just a picture that I took and I white, I made the background more, you know, whited out, added game time at the top and wrote a story about how we love playing board games in our family. Then I've got these two uh, three by eight flips in here. Um, and these are stories about each of us individually. So this is how Isabella plays. This was August of last year. So this is almost a year ago at this point. Um, so we've got how Izzy plays, how Jonah plays, how Aaron plays, and then how I play. So there's, you know, one for each of us in here. The next one I told a uh, I play, you play, so a him versus her. So I talked about what I do and then what Aaron does. So I craft and Aaron plays video games. So it's just simple. I just added some photos and called that one a day. Next, I've got a story about Aaron and his twin brother from when they were little boys. So these were some photos that I had in my stash, one of Aaron with the squirt gun and then one of Aaron and his brother like doing the same pose together. It's super cute. So this one, I had Aaron relay to me uh, memories of playing when he was a kid. Like what did they do to play? So he like, he dictated it to me and I wrote it down. And then, um, 
I also had him tell me a story about going over to his aunt's house where they always had to play outside. They weren't allowed to be inside. So again, he dictated that. I wrote it down. So this is a story about him from his words. I just happened to be the one to type it out. This I used my typewriter to put all the words on there. And then I got the, I've got that big acrylic over here. So a story of Aaron when he was little. The next one is a story about me from high school and playing a bunch of different instruments. So I talked about how I played in a marching band and in a jazz band and in a um, competitive drum line and piano and like all of these different things. I was very, very much into music when I was younger. And it's kind of been something that I have let go over the years. And that's sad looking back on that. Like, I wish I would have kept up on it, but I didn't. So this is a page all about playing instruments. So again, these are all from that play story kit. Next, we have a story here. This goals make it happen. This was a story that uh, was sparked for me from, I believe it was the January digital stories by the month kit. So the goals make it happen was a three by four card and I blew it up and added a picture of my daughter and I with some thought bubbles about uh, our goals for the year. So really fun for that one. This next page is a spread that I made using the add to cart feed your craft um, kit. This one is, you know, I made a shopping cart here using vellum and a cut file. And then inside of it, I've got a bunch of different cards that I filled out with photos on the back of things that we had been buying. So this one is, um, I believe COVID had just reached us. So this is a COVID story. I told it, yeah, March 29th. So you can see that like these ones are from August and this one's March. Uh, they're just kind of random in here. They're just random. And this one is outside of the pocket, which means that there is another outside the pocket on the back. So I just adhere them back to back in here. This story was, I believe, an April stories by the month kit, or it might have been, I think it was April. And I was talking about letting go of kids' clothes, <laughs> going through our stash of clothes and saying goodbye to them, packing them up and giving them away to our friends and our family who can use them. So I've got this large photo of me with a bunch of embellishments here in the middle. I've got a couple of journaling cards and a photo here. And then this one flips up to show another picture. And then this one little dress that I found in amongst my stash, which was a dress that was originally mine. And I passed it down to Izzy. And then I have it saved for her to pass down if she happens to have a girl when she is older, which is really fun. This page right here was from the Treasured Feed Your Craft Kit. So this one I used to talk about a date night or date day with my husband. So we celebrated Valentine's Day by going brewery hopping. And um, you'll, you'll notice also, just a side note, that a lot of the stories will show up again. So sometimes I tell bits and pieces of a story in here, and then I might tell them again, maybe in a shorter version in Project Life, or I may tell them in a much longer version by creating like a whole album dedicated to that thing. Um, you'll just notice that, that I, I like to tell stories many different times because every time you tell it, something different comes up, you know? So this one is, yes, about uh, brewery hopping. I loved these vellum triangles right here, loved them. So I really wanted to find a way to use those and I was glad to get them used there. And that is that. This spread right here, I believe was also a January Digital Stories by the Month kit. And uh, this one I talked about welcoming in 2020. So I had a digital stamp that I put on a large photo. I printed out a piece of, um, or not a piece, one of the chipboard pieces and layered it up on some paper here to make it pop out. Um, and then I've got a picture over here of the four of us. This is also the picture that you will see at the, at the introduction to our uh, Project Life album for this year. So I used it here as well and then just added in a couple other cards. So that one's really fun. I hope that, I hope that the glare is not too bad for you guys. I just thought about that. <sighs> Hopefully it's okay. This story right here is using the family story kit from Allie Edwards. So this one I talked about uh, what family is when we are with my husband's family. 
So around Christmas time, we went down to our aunt and uncle's house and took this huge family photo of all of us. And um, like his grandparents, his dad, all of the siblings and all of the kids. So this is all of us in here. And um, I used that as my giant picture with the word family here and then added some extra cards from the kit and then did my journaling on this circle journaling card that says family is. So for this next spread, I decided to do something really fun and to interview my husband and his twin brother uh, and ask them questions about each other. So this one, I yes, I, I took Alex to the side and asked him questions about Aaron, and then I took Aaron to the side and asked him questions about Alex and then uh, documented their answers. So this one I know is going to be a super fun one to go back and look at later. I believe I took inspiration from the family story kit for this one as well from Allie, but uh, really you could do this you know, with any any kit or even without a kit like it's a pretty it's a fairly simple uh, spread to do so love this one next I used the watch story kit to uh, talk about the different ways that we watch or that we consume our movies so I've got TV and phone and the movie theater um, so I've got like an actual picture of our TV which is funny because now we have a new TV so that's that'll be fun to look back at um, I've got Izzy on the phone watching YouTube kids um, which you know will also change likely over the years and then the movie theater that we always go to which we have not been to in months and months and months now because you can't go to movie theaters so um yeah that was a fun story just simple and no journaling it's just photos for the next one I just have this little tiny insert that is talking about uh some photos that I took of Aaron and the kids playing in an arcade and I talked about how we all love to play video games so that was this one was just how we are all gamers um just a simple little thing. For my next story, I told one about me and my family. So I've got, um, this was a 12, or a, not 12, a two by two pocket. So I've got, it goes on both sides and I added a flip in the middle. So there was a card that said a little about me and a little about my family. I cut it in half and then I used the first half over here to talk about me. And I've got pictures from when we were young. So like prior to Aaron or any of our spouses being in the picture and then when you flip it up I've got a picture of my family with some journaling about our family and then pictures of all of us as adults um, some with our spouses and and whatnot so super fun so that is that one for on the back side of that I've got another two by two this one is talking about or documenting I should say the plants that we started in our house this year so I've got a bunch of different like seedling pictures um, it was a fun experiment to grow some plants inside with the kids I used the staycation stamp set from feed your craft to um, create the brick walls and do all of these pots of flowers and leaves and then I also added some books on here I believe that stamp set was called a uh, bibliophile maybe still doesn't seem right um I don't know it's a, it's a book themed stamp from Beechercraft that came out in January so that's where that's from this next story was my very first story kit crush story I believe uh, this is one about my sister and I so I have a picture from my wedding uh, of us just kind of hugging I added a little rubber piece at the top and then I made this vellum pocket that I sewed in order to create the pocket that houses this giant tag that came in the give story kit so this this whole project is from give so the rubber tag flips and behind it is a tag book um, filled with, let's get that, there we go, filled with cards that say, you know, give the story as a gift. And I talk about the different things that I'm thankful for about my younger sister. And then on the back, I have pictures of us. So it's just, you know, a little booklet about, I guess, our relationship and the things that I love about her. I've got a quote on the back. You know, there's a few, there's a bunch of different pages in here. And then that little booklet slides into this vellum pocket for safekeeping and it works out super great. So that is that story. On the back of that one, 
I have a story about his and hers. So this was from the list story kit from Allie Edwards. I took a picture of my husband and I. This is actually fake. Like it looks like we're back to back. I actually took a picture of him facing one way and he took a picture of me facing the other way and I like spliced us together to make us look like we were standing back to back. So that was fun. And then I had us each list our top five breweries, craft beers, board games, and video games just to compare notes on what our different favorites are. So that was a really fun one to do. Then I have this really awesome interactive page that I made using a Feedercraft stamp that I can't remember the name of. I think it maybe was all digital. It might be all digital or something like that. Anyway, um, it's about, it was about consuming literature digitally. So like uh, audiobooks and Kindle and um, podcasts, that sort of thing. But I thought that the little Kindle icon looked enough like a phone that I could pull it off. So I stamped out these little phones or Kindles and then added into them pictures of some of my absolute favorite crafty YouTube channels. Then they flip out and reveal why I love them and how that specific crafter has inspired my own crafting. I've got some journaling here at the bottom, added some puffy stickers and a bunch of stamping to do the background and the title. Next, I have one of my projects for the watch story kit. So this is another interactive piece all about the movies that we have loved, our top movies of the last decade. So this actually pulls out accordion style, uh, but you guys won't be able to see that. So we'll, we'll just tuck it in and then there's more on the back. So that is that one and it just is hole punched straight in here just like that. Next, I've got a four page spread talking about my books of 2020, so specifically my book club books. So I made this title page. I wanted it to look kind of like the cover of a book. Um, added some ephemera on there called That Good. The acrylic piece is color cast designs. I always like to grab these at the beginning of the years. Then on the inside, I have this little pocket interactive piece where you can pull out these tag books. They've got a photo of the book cover and my review of the book. So those will eventually be filled up. This is the only, technically, the only page in this book that is not at this point done because, you know, I can't, it won't be done until we get to December. So, you know, just got to live with what we got. Um, this particular these particular pages, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave them in this book or if I am going to get a different six by eight book to be like specifically for books. If I do that, I can just take these pieces right out and put them into that book. No harm done. If not, they'll just stay in here. Again, no harm done. So it is what it is. For my next page, this one is top of my list. Um, this was from the list kit by Allie Edwards, and this has another interactive bit where these flip up and reveal things that I currently love and why I love those things. So it's, there are nine of them, and I used the digitals as well as some of the physical products to create these pages. Um, on the back of that, I have a page talking about our love of the zoo. This is also using that list story kit. This is a picture of our family. It's a couple years old from the Oklahoma Zoo, Oklahoma City Zoo. My brother lives in Oklahoma, so we took this when we went to go visit him. And then we've got uh, some journaling over here about loving the zoo. On the back side of it is a picture at our zoo, the Detroit Zoo, with me and my son, my daughter with her giraffe looking at giraffes, top five animals, a couple of ephemera bits, and then this pops open, uh, happy planner style, to reveal the map of the Detroit Zoo. So that is that fun little spread there. Next, I've got a, another story using the family story kit from Allie Edwards. This was all about loving our tribe or loving my tribe. And the tribe that I am talking about here is you guys, the crafty community. So I've got uh, some design team pictures because I'm, I was accepted onto two design teams for 2020. Uh, they were my first ones ever, and I was super excited about it. So I've got my picture there of the teams. I have this little... Um, 
or not little, this large acetate circle piece that has a quote on it about um, needing a family, a tribe, a clan, or whatever you call it, that swivels to the side. And then I've got my journaling underneath about, uh, about the tribe that I'm in. So that is that. Next, I have a story using the friendship story kit. This is a story talking about the relationship between my husband and myself and his twin brother and his twin brother's wife. So we are super close, really tight friends. And this was a picture that was taken at my wedding. At the time, they weren't married. Um, it was just us getting married. We were the first ones to get married in our families. And um, we decided to take a picture of the girls holding hands and the boys holding hands and thought that that, that that would be super cute. So this is definitely one of my favorite pictures from our wedding. And I love having it really big and blown up in the book like this. On the back, I just have some like a decorative page, a couple more pictures from the wedding, and then some journaling about our friendship with them. So that was, I really loved that story that kit. Next, I have a story about my grandpa. So uh, this, so this is my grandpa on my mom's side, and he is a hunter and fisherman. So I told a story about observing him doing his thing, <laughs> that I love seeing him do his thing, and that that helps me feel connected to him, that he has a hobby that he loves so much, and I have a hobby that I love so much, and that's something that we have in common, even though our hobbies are very different. That flips up um, and then underneath I've got another photo of my grandpa and his dog and like a bunch of antlers and then um, just a really cool quote card to bring in the reds. So that is that one. On the back of that page I have a story about my dad. Uh, this one was also from the watch kit so I use the observations to talk about five things that I have observed in my dad whether it's from when I was a kid or now seeing him with my daughter and my son. Um, and then I have a picture of him and my daughter holding hands out in like a beach area. Another watch story that I told was talking about, so the, the card here says my story, watch me as I walk away from things I no longer need in my life. So this one sparked a story about walking away from my career in the aquatics sector of the world um, and fitness. Like that's where I was for quite a few years and I decided to walk away from that when um, I finally figured out that it was super unhealthy for me to be there. So this is the story. So I have a couple pictures of me um, like as, you know, working, lifeguarding, all that sort of stuff. I have a picture of the facility that I used to work at and then a bunch of journaling talking about my decision to leave that career. So that is that one. Then I have another story using the list story kit. This one is my life in lists. And what I did is I took every day of the week and I listed what we do throughout the day. So I've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like what we do on those days, Saturdays and Sundays. So this was really fun. Um, I'm trying to think if this was, uh, let's see, let's see what yeah, so this was pre-coronavirus. Like, what did we do? Which is also kind of fun to um, <laughs> see what we used to do. And then I have, on um, you know, as the follow-up page, I have a picture of, like, all the different lists that I had throughout my house. Had, have. <laughs> so many different lists. Because I am obsessed with them. So that was fun. So this was a fun kit because I love lists. And then last but not least, I have a final page that has no journaling. It's just kind of like throwing some pieces together to finish this spread up. Uh, I watercolored some paintings at the beginning of the year and just had a few pieces left. So I decided to use those. I pulled out some pictures that were really vibrant and bright and then uh, added a couple of different ephemera bits stamped a whole bunch of times that say May because that's when these pictures were taken and called that a day. So that is my story album. This is volume one and as you can see there is no there is no like chron chronological order to it. There is no rhyme or reason where, you know, why things are where they are, except for the fact of like where they fit. So if I have a story, like if I put this one together right here, um, I would have leafed through this book until I came across this spread that already had a page looking like this. And maybe this spread already had 
a full page so then it fit right there so there it goes um that's just kind of how I decide where things go in the book the cool thing about it is be, it it serves as like a collection of stories just like you can literally open up open it up to any page and you'll be able to read a story uh you don't necessarily need to read it from beginning to end in fact that you know it doesn't really it doesn't matter if you read what's before it or not, only that you read what you're at. So what's cool about something like this uh, is, you know, we can just open it up and talk about a story from our past or our present or whatever it is. But anyway, it's just a really fun way to tell stories. And these are probably my favorite albums that I make, like hands down. So that is volume one. When I finish volume two, I will be sure to film another video of that one. And my kid albums still have a ways to go. Um, these ones get filled up a lot faster because there's a lot more characters in the story. <laughs> Whereas since they are their own character in their story for their albums, it does take me a little bit longer to fill theirs up. So when those ha when those are filled though I will film flip throughs and share those with all of you guys. I hope that this gives you guys a better idea of what these story albums are or at least what my story albums are and how I put them together and maybe it'll inspire you guys to start documenting and um and safe keeping some of your stories as well whether they're from your past or your present or hopes for the future whatever it is I think that our stories are uh, the most important thing that we can that we can document and that we can pass on because that they are who who we are they make us who we are uh, if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see all of my future crafty videos. I will be back later this week with a couple more uh, process videos for you. And um, yeah, so until then, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will catch you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye now.